Seoul's monster missile to target the DPRK. South Korea has revealed plans to build a new missile to take on the North should war break out on the Korean Peninsula. The South Korean military seeks to counter Pyongyang's growing weapons capabilities by developing the Hyongmu-4, a surface-to-surface -surface missile with an 800-kilometer range and a payload of up to two tons. It will be powerful enough to destroy the North's underground military facilities and command centers and is set to be the final weapon to be mobilized in Seoul's three-tier attack plan. The plan's first step involves launching a KT-SSM missile to strike North Korean artillery that have been camouflaged and embedded along the DMZ and on the coast of border islands. Hyungmu-2 ballistic missiles will then be deployed to neutralize the enemy's nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction, and their delivery systems. The development of the Franken missile is part of Army efforts to establish a five-pillar operational concept that can minimize civilian casualties and put an early end to armed conflict. Here's what the North has been up to lately. Everything you need to know about North Korea's latest nuclear test. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un took a break from not pooping at the weekend to make some boom boom. Big boom boom. On Sunday, September 3rd, North Korea conducted its sixth and most powerful nuclear test at the underground Punguri nuclear test facility. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the underground explosion resulted in a 6.3 magnitude earthquake. Estimates put its explosive yield at 120 kilotons. For comparison, the little boy bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 had a yield of 15 kilotons. The recent North Korean test was eight times stronger than that. But it's just over a third of the power of the recently tested U.S. remote-controlled nuclear bomb, the B-61-12. That holds a maximum yield of 340 kilotons. Meet the Castle Bravo. This had an explosive yield of 15,000 kilotons when it was tested in 1954. It's the most powerful American bomb to ever be tested, but it's not the strongest. This is the Tsar Bomba. This Soviet super nuke was tested in 1961 and had a blast yield of 50,000 kilotons. That's 400 times stronger than North Korea's latest test. But don't think that makes the North any less dangerous, because turning a test bomb into a deliverable nuclear payload is quite the challenge, and it looks like the North might already be there. There is speculation this weekend's test bomb will form the warhead component of the Hwasong-14, North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile. This ICBM can reportedly hit Alaska. Over the weekend, the United States threatened a massive military response against the use of such a weapon against the U.S. or its allies. Interestingly, President Trump is considering stopping trade with any country that does business with North Korea, aka China, because without the People's Republic's support, the North Korean regime would collapse. North Korea's military might. With tensions ramping up on the Korean Peninsula, perhaps it's time to assess just exactly what kind of heat Kim Jong-un is packing. According to The Telegraph, North Korea is believed to have more than a thousand missiles of varying ranges. North Korea's short- and long-range missiles can strike South Korea and Japan. Washington says Pyongyang is also developing a missile that will be capable of reaching the continental United States. North Korea is estimated to have enough plutonium to build as many as six nuclear bombs. Experts say it will take North Korea up to 10 years to fit a nuclear warhead to a missile capable of reaching the U.S. North Korea is believed to be able to make most kinds of chemical weapons. South Korea says the DPRK also has biological weapons, but it is unclear if they are ready for the battlefield. Military service is mandatory in North Korea for men and women, and the army has more than a million troops. The army relies on outdated Soviet tanks. The navy has more than 70 submarines and three frigates. Most North Korean Air Force planes are outdated Chinese fighter jets, although it does have a small number of more modern Russian-built jets. The cyber warfare threat from North Korea is centered around an organization called Bureau 121, which boasts up to 6,000 hackers. Most of its attacks are targeted at South Korea. So that's the kind of hardware Kim Jong-un has at his fingertips. Let's just hope he brings an end to all this military madness before people get hurt. North Korea is growing its military might. U.S. authorities said on Wednesday that the intercontinental ballistic missile fired by North Korea on Tuesday was a new type of missile that the country had never seen before. The Hwasong-14 intercontinental ballistic missile contained a redesigned second stage. 
The second stage reportedly had a separate 30-second burn cycle that allowed the missile to travel farther, making it an intercontinental ballistic missile. U.S. officials confirmed the missile was capable of traveling more than 3,500 miles, meaning it would be able to reach Alaska. The United States conducted a joint missile exercise with South Korea in response to North Korea's ICBM test. North Korea said its missile was capable of carrying a large-sized, heavy nuclear warhead, but U.S. military experts doubt the country has the ability to develop a nuclear warhead that can be fitted into long-range missiles. North Korea developing solid fuel missiles, maybe. If you believe North Korean news, it looks like Kim Jong-un has the country developing new solid fuel missiles. Photos released by North Korean state media appear to show new solid fuel missile designs. One of the missiles was labeled Puguksong-3, which could be the latest in its Polaris series. The Puguksong-3 could have a longer range, as well as canister launching capabilities, which would make them easier to transport and harder to locate. A canister-based system would mean that North Korea could also fire the missiles via submarine. Solid fuel engines would allow for reduced launch times compared to liquid fuel missiles. Experts say it's more difficult to make out what type of design the other missile pictured was. Some speculated it was either a Hwasong-13 or Hwasong-11. North Korea now has nuke that fits its missiles. U.S. President Donald Trump is warning North Korea of fire and fury after a Washington Post report revealed Pyongyang has produced miniaturized warheads. A U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency report says North Korea has successfully created a miniaturized warhead for its intercontinental ballistic missiles. The country now has missiles that reportedly range between 180 to 7,200 miles. The agency report also estimates that North Korea has up to 60 nuclear warheads in its arsenal. Russia and the United States still have the largest number of nuclear warheads in the world, estimated at 7,000 and 6,800 respectively. North Korea conducted two ICBM tests last month, showing off the potential to hit most of the continental U.S. In response, the United Nations imposed the toughest sanctions yet on North Korea, a move that was praised by President Trump. However, North Korea said the sanctions would not stop it from developing nuclear weapons and has threatened to make the U.S. pay the price.